things in my head. I'll the bus here. I have my two I have to do surgery on my face, my nose, everything. What was supposed to be a day of relaxation and imbibing quickly turned tragic for 31-year-old Shadrach Andrews, who claims he was brutally attacked by a friend and several other men around 10.30 p.m. on Monday the 31st, 2021 at William Stan Street Festival City. It was a night I went out because my, somebody didn't die for me. And I went to see one of my friends and just have a drink and chill a little bit and get over the death and stuff. While I'm there, I noticed they got baseball bat. But in my mind, I never really expected nothing. So as I'm there, I take about three shots. And after that, I can't remember nothing. Almost left for dead, Andrews was taken to the hospital by family members and public spirit citizens after spending eight days in the hospital. Andrews, who is now thankful to be alive, had then opted to make a report at the East La Penitence Police Station. But to date, no arrest has been made as a man alleges that the police are in collusion with his attackers. Eight days. When I come out of the hospital, two days after, then I catch myself. And again, like a lot, even my therapist right now saying them don't know how I'm here, even the doctor saying that I'm supposed to be brain dead. But now I catch myself. I can't even be home right now, guys, like the police working for them. I'm scared, I don't know what to do. I don't know what could come towards me. And the friend I went to was Jamal Defratus. Froggy is a guy I went to school with, him and his two little brothers. The guy that saved me said his two little brothers were stamping on my head and pushing it down in a puddle. And he had to come over me and save me. He said when I do, when he pull my nose like this is when I start breathing again, cause like I was gone already. So I don't know why the police is not looking into this matter. Why they taking pay off and all this. And the police name is um, Officer Dot and Officer Boys. Feeling unsatisfied with the police response to his case, Andrews then made a further report at the police complaint authorities. But yet again, nothing was done to bring his perpetrators to face the court of law. After I got the police complaint and I was already there, he called me and told me, but come to the station and do a report. I said, so you supposed to have a report for me because the police complaint was talking to him while I was listening. And he, I was like, I listened to you lie to the police complaint. Why now you calling me in to make a statement? He turned and said, I said, I got a liar to deal with y'all and these people are going to deal with y'all. He said, F you and the liar and them people. I is a sergeant, I deal with things and cut off the phone from me. Despite this, Andrew claims he is fearful for his life and pleads with the authorities to arrest the perpetrators, who are still free and wanders the street. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers.